Hey everybody, it's Cooper here, and welcome to a quick video. I thought that this would be very helpful to some of you guys out there who aren't familiar with uh, packing and shipping or you don't do a lot of it. Um, so I recently received a game in the mail, a uh, complete in box uh, N64 game that was shipped in a small flat rate box like this. And USPS just increased their rates again, so now to send one of these, you're spending $6.80 if you go to the post office and send it like that. Now, the first part of this uh, kind of tip, I guess you could say, is, um, and it's not really a tip, but if you print postage at home, it's always cheaper than going to the post office. If you have the means, print your postage at home. You can do this directly through PayPal, you can do it through the USPS website, you can do it through other websites like stamps.com. There's many options out there, so if you can do it, it's always cheaper. So, with the current increase, you're paying almost $7 to ship one of these. Now the good thing is that it doesn't matter what it weighs. You can ship this thing full of lead and it's going for $6.90. That's great. But a lot of people will use these to ship complete in box games such as this. And it fits pretty nice and it protects it very well. As you can see, it fits in there. It gives, you know, a few centimeters at the top of space. There is a little gap here where you can fill that in with bubble wrap or peanuts or whatever you want. Um, so this is a perfect box to ship a complete in box game. However, you shouldn't be paying almost $7 to ship one of these because of the weight. So the tip that I have for you guys is once you have your game in here, you know, and obviously you're not supposed to use this box. I'm just using this as an example because I don't have another box available. But you can get boxes around the same size that will fit a complete in box game. You can get them custom made or you can find them, you know, they're readily available, you know, everywhere. So get get a box that is fairly small, kind of like this one. And once you have it all closed up, if you send it like this, you're paying $6.80. If you print it at home, if you print your postage at home, probably a little bit cheaper, but still, it's a lot of money. And, you know, this this box is a perfect size to ship something like this, but it's not its not saving you that much time or energy um, to justify the extra money that you're paying for it. So what I suggest doing is finding a box that is similar in size to this one, and you're not supposed to use this one. And I want to make that perfectly clear. You are not supposed to take this, you're not, you cannot take a flat rate box and cover it in something else and not ship it priority. You're supposed to do it like that. Honestly, they're probably not going to, they're not, they can't open it and check, but you're not supposed to do that. So um, if I had another box to use, I would do that. This isn't something I'm shipping, so it doesn't really matter. But um, you can get boxes that are pretty much this exact same size for fairly cheap. And if you go to like Uline or something, you can get custom sizes. They have tons of sizes already available. So you can get boxes made specifically for shipping complete in box games. And if you have if you have a box like that that's the same size and you ship it first class, it's not going to cost you anywhere near $7. For a box this size shipping first class, you're going to pay maybe 350, somewhere around there. And that's almost that's like half the price. So my suggestion is, if you are going to ship in something like this, you can always put it into a bubble mailer. And obviously you have to get one that's going to fit, but you put it in there just like that, and you close it up, and now you can send this first class. And I've got my scale here, just to show you guys. When uh, USPS just increased their, their rates, they also increased the limit for first class to... 15.999 ounces, which is just under a pound. So, it used to be 13 ounces, which would still work, but this this one here, this game in there is complete. It has the manual, the cardboard insert, it has the box, it has the, the, uh, the small flat rate box in here, and the bubble mailer, and this is only weighing 9.0 ounces. So, instead of paying $6.80 to ship this, you can print your postage at home, and you can ship this first class for half the price. And yeah, it's maybe not going to get there as quick, but 
they, the first class is almost as fast as priority. Priority is guaranteed two to three days. First class is two to five days, but honestly, usually gets there in three or four. So even shipping priority, you're not really getting that much of a benefit. Maybe it's going to arrive a day or two earlier, but is that worth double the price? Not to me. So I do have some custom boxes that I've had made um, through Uline before. They're not, they're not the perfect size to put into a bubble mailer or anything. Um, they're more squared, uh, but usually even if I put an item in there with peanuts and all that, it still weighs under 15 ounces, so I can still ship them first class, and it's just so much cheaper than shipping in a flat rate box. Now, if you're shipping something extremely heavy, but it's still pretty small, like it's made of solid metal or something like that, then a flat rate box might be, you know, a pretty good deal for you and you'd save a lot of money on shipping. But for video game items and for media items and and all sorts of stuff like that, you know, it's it's not worth it to ship to ship priority or to ship flat rate. Um, so that's kind of like the first part of the tip. The other part that I have here, and this is going to be more geared towards uh, eBay and Amazon sellers, um, anyone that really sells online, use FedEx for anything over first class. If you have, let's just say you have um, a complete inbox Wii system, let's say. A Wii system with all the components and parts and the box and the paperwork, it's fairly heavy. It's not the right size to ship in a flat rate box, so you'd have to get your own type of box. And if you're going to ship that parcel select or priority through USPS, you're going to pay a decent amount of money for that. Especially, you know, especially priority. But when you're on eBay, you can change between USPS and FedEx, and I believe UP, uh, UPS as well. I don't really use UPS that much, but I use FedEx all the time. And they have a service called Smart Post, which you cannot purchase through a FedEx store. I've tried. The employees didn't even know what I was talking about. So I guess it's like an online-only type of service, but essentially... FedEx Smart Post is kind of like first class mixed with parcel select. It's It maybe takes a little bit longer, but it's kind of like their cheapest option. And I don't think I've had any cases where parcel select or priority was cheaper than Smart Post with FedEx. And I use Smart Post all the time. Anything I have to ship that will not ship first class, I always ship it Smart Post with FedEx. And the great thing about that is that the post office will ship smart post packages. So if you print, if you are on eBay and you have something to sell, uh, I'm just going to grab something random here. If you have to sell this and you're going to ship and you want to ship it and it turns out that smart post is cheaper than priority or parcel select, you don't have to go to FedEx to drop that package off. You can drop it off at the post office with all your other packages. It has a USPS tracking number on it. So they will ship it. FedEx has a deal with them to do to use this service. FedEx gets their portion of the money, and USPS delivers the package in most cases. So always check FedEx Smart Post, and even FedEx Ground is sometimes cheaper than Parcel Select or Priority uh, for certain sizes and weights of packages. So those are my tips. One, print your postage at home. It's always cheaper. Two. If you are shipping something in a box, especially a video game like this, you don't have to ship it in a small flat rate. You can ship it in your own box, ship it first class. It's just as protected. It gets there almost just as quickly, and it's half the price. And then third, use FedEx Smart Post. It is amazing, and there's a drop-down option for it on both eBay and Amazon. So definitely check into those and use them. So I hope you guys found this video helpful in some way. I hope that I could save you guys some money. So make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.